Hi everyone! Hi! Today is kind of like an entertaining, fun kind of recipe. Yeah, I reckon if you made this, if you had people coming over for a glass of wine or something, not that we drink, but if you did, <laughs> this would be like a nice kind of show-stopping little snack you could put out. No one's going to care if it's keto or not because it's just going to be yummy. That's right. So it's baked camembert. It's yes. pretty simple. Yes, I will say it's pretty simple. So we've just got what four ingredients here and it's kind of really yummy. You've got the mixture of like the creamy cheese, the little sweetness from the jam, a bit of crunch, a bit of savouriness. So it's a real winner, I think. So we've got a 200 gram wheel of camembert here. Um, so just whichever one you prefer. We just got that from the supermarket. We have got some sugar-free apricot jam. We have also got just 30 grams of walnuts that I've roughly chopped up and half a teaspoon of fresh thyme leaves from our garden. Mm. <laughs> so you can get the Hawthorne Hill sugar-free apricot jam from Low Carb Emporium. Um, we love the Hawthorne Hills. We've actually mm -hmm. found it when we were traveling in Tasmania a couple of years ago. Yeah. Um, and I think Erica told Low Carb Emporium about them <laughs> and that's how they got yeah, into no. Low Carb Emporium. So. But yeah, they're sweetened with xylitol, so if that suits you or not, but it really is kind of the best sugar-free jam option in Australia. And they use like really you know, good quality fruit. I'm pretty sure they grow the fruit on their farm. Yeah, That's the, plus the farm. Yeah. <laughs> and the girl told us that yeah. the um, dad had diabetes and yes. that's what pro that's how prompted she got her. Into... So she does normal jam, yeah. but she got into the sugar free because of her dad who yeah. has diabetes. And they have a whole range of every, you know, jam flavor you could imagine, tomato, relish, anything. So you could certainly use different flavors. We just really like the combination of apricot, apricot and cheese. And walnut. Yeah. So, what I'm going to do is just kind of score the top of the cheese in a bit of a kind of cross hatch pattern just to kind of break through the, the rind because we're going to pop all these toppings on top and then bake it in the oven and we want it to go all gooey. And then we want some sort of oven proof kind of ramekin or like baking dish but you want it to be not much bigger than the size of your cheese if possible we've just got this cute, cute little fry pan that we never actually use but but you found that at this. like St Vinny's or something I did yeah <laughs> it probably needs to be fixed up like because it's actually cast iron but. so we've got our camembert there ready and then we'll just make our topping so we're literally just going to mix these three things together and then pop that on the top and we've got the oven on at 180 and it just goes in the oven for about 12 to 15 minutes. So we've just got a quarter of a cup of our jam. So this is kind of like I guess how you have, you know, like figs or honey with cheese. I mean you could have apricots with cheese as well, it would be delicious. But we're just going to mix this up and then kind of the thyme gives a nice savouriness. The walnuts give a nice crunch. And then the jam is just delicious. So we're just going to mix that up and then we're going to pop it on the top of our cheese. And if it goes down the sides a little bit, that's fine, but we're going to try and keep it on top. That's how easy that is. Like if you had people even at your house, you could throw that together yeah. very, very quickly. Pop it in the oven for about 15 minutes till the cheese is all gooey and it's kind of glistening on top. I am really looking forward to tasting this one. <laughs> How good does this look and smell? And the cheese underneath Yeah, is you can see gooey. it's all gooey. And there's some little kind of, you know, bits where it's starting to caramelize around the edge. I think it's going to be yummy. So the other thing you're going to need for this really, you can eat it with a fork or a spoon and I've been known to do that before. <laughs> but you really, if you know, how entertaining, you're going to want yeah. some form of cracker. Yes. So my favourite ones are these paleo ones from Julian Bakery. We buy them on iHerb. Mm -hmm. And what have we got macros wise? So they're five grams per serve and there's six crackers in a serve. Um, yeah, so five grams net carbs. So pretty good. 
Um, you can also buy, you can buy this one at um, the supermarket. Mm -hmm. um, I think we got it in a um, keto box yeah, or something. we did. Um, mm -hmm. And you make these. So this is a cracker, so a cracker mix. So mm -hmm. there's a little bit more effort needed for this. But the carbohydrates, maybe for one cracker, because it's 18 serves in a pack and it's 10 grams per serve. So for one cracker, it's about 0.2. So that is another option. You can just make these up if you knew people were coming. And with this seed cracker, there's also a very similar recipe kind of online, I think with Diet Doctor, we'll link it below. And then also you've got the Alina's crackers, their seed crackers, which you can get from Coles and Woolies I now, think so. I think. Yeah. So I'll link those below as well. They're quite a low carb seed, you know, just a plain seed cracker. And if you're doing a, a low carb emporium order, there's a couple of others that we like. The keto yeah. crackers we like. Is there yeah, another? Yeah, the one? local ones. Oh, the local ones. Yeah, I knew yeah. There was... the keto, my keto kitchen. They're like salt and pepper crackers. They also have the low carb kosher. So there's quite a few options on low carb emporium and it is one of those things that it's really nice to have a replacement for yeah and another option this is slightly higher in carbs but another mm. if you just low carb um are these carmen's ones you can buy these at the supermarket as well and for um 27 grams it's which was eight. i think about six crackers so they yeah. look like this so that's a oops, <laughs> that's a serve there um and that's 8.4 grams yeah. of carbs. So they're easily available at the supermarket. So there's some cracker options for you, but you're going to dig in. <laughs> Careful, it's very hot. <laughs> so you can see kind of how soft and soft. gooey the cheese mm. is. Look at that. And then you've got the apricot and the, oh, it looks really hot. And the walnut. This is going to burn my mouth. <laughs> I mean, that is going to be a crowd pleaser for anyone. Yeah. You, I mean, we love creating recipes that even non keto people are going to eat. Enjoy. And, and not even really notice. You don't need to bring it to anyone's no, attention. No, exactly. Like, how would anyone even know that was, you know, supposedly keto? Like, that's just a delicious piece of cheese with goody, goodness on top. Delicious. <laughs> so, if you've got people coming over, like Erica said, one time or anything like that, give this recipe a try. Give us a thumbs up if you like this recipe. Subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye. Bye.